So let me just share my screen. Uh, okay. Okay, good. Okay, I think everybody can see the screen now. Yeah. So that's me. Okay, uh, my name is Kit. You know, I, I have a very simple vision. Really, my vision is, you know, how to help people to slow down aging and stay healthy through a variety of natural wellness approach. Uh, and for some of you who has experienced me in, during the, uh, the last talk, yes, I teach meridian therapy. But besides meridian therapy, uh, I also give a lot of wellness talks on various topics, which includes, you know, things like nutraceuticals, which means about gut health, uh, marine therapy, and even aromatherapy. Okay, so, you know, today I'm happy to bring you one of my uh, pet topic, which is really this one, slowing down your aging by using but using the art of cellular therapy. Yeah, can you just help to uh, kind of unmute yourself, you know, and then, uh, yeah, and then we will we'll get on with it. Okay. Now, I think, you know, this presentation today is right, you know, we, we are going to provide general information, but generally we do not say, we, it's not a recommending or endorsing of any particular treatment or intended to replace your doctor's advice. And what you see is really a lot of them is really real experiences and testimonials. Uh, people that I know, uh, you know, a lot of these for purposes of illustration only. Now let's look at this, uh, this thing, okay? I mean, the proportion of adults with multiple chronic diseases. I'm not sure whether y'all remember this uh, was about two years ago. Actually, it came out in the uh, Straits Times. What the Straits Times say is a very interesting fact, okay? That generally for people who has chronic disease, okay, you know, uh, you will realize that you know they do not have one type of chronic disease. Typically, they have like two or three different type of chronic disease, and the people who have like three or more chronic disease has easily doubled, okay, given the span of from two thousand nine to twenty seventeen, maybe what uh, less than twenty years, and that is kind of a little uh, worrying statistics. And look at the top five chronic health conditions that many of us face, right? I'm sure that, you know, many of you have loved ones around you well, who say that, you know, they, you realize that they don't only have high blood pressure, you know, they have high blood cholesterol, you know, they have hair pain, their pain, they have three highs and so forth. That's why it's called the three highs, right? And it's getting very common. And then this is another very interesting uh, statistics that actually was came up that uh, Singaporeans may live very long. Yeah, in fact, you know, we, we, we are able to check out for, you know, kind of the world's longest living people. But what is sad is that uh, many of the people, especially the last 10 to 15 years, even though they live longer, are actually living in uh, poorer health. And you can actually realize that some of the top causes of uh, issues, you know, here of things like cardiovascular disease, I'm sure many of us know of people who have stroke, uh, with heart diseases and so forth. And of course, you know, not to mention things like cancer. Okay. And of course, I did not, uh, you know, everybody's very familiar with this, right? Because of this, all of us, you know, are working from home. <laughs> okay. This is called the Delta variant. And this was the last statistics that I think, you know, I, even this statistic is already outdated. You know, every day, the statistics is just changing. But what is more concerning in these days, right, is this thing, you know, if you all remember seeing this thing, many people who have incurred COVID, and recovered from it, some of it are actually suffering uh, long-term uh, long effects, you know, things like memory loss. And then, you know, memory loss is not a good thing because over time, it may be the precursor to things like dementia. And even scientists right now are looking into this, you know, they've identified easily more than 50 types of long-term effects that's affected uh, many people, okay, that has, uh, that has uh, you know, recovered from COVID. So COVID is not just, uh, you know, incur, get well, and that's it. Uh, in fact, so some of the uh, people who, especially for those with chronic issues, right, uh, you know, COVID might actually leave a longer term impact on their health in the longer term. Right? Now, how many of us look like this? Okay, but in actual fact, you know, wow, we actually feel like this. You know, I know I used to be like that once. You know? Now, this is something that we call... Okay. Uh, can, can those of you just help to mute yourself, you know? Uh, this is something we call premature aging, which means that, you know, you actually feel much older than you look. And it's not just the things that concerns look. The problem is now we are getting a lot younger, younger people who are, you know, you realize that, wow, in their 30s already got high blood pressure, high cholesterol, right? Well, in the 30s, got diabetes. I'm sure, you know, I have friends who like, you know, who are in their 40s, 50s, then suddenly out of the blue, you hear that they have stroke, 
heart attack. Then it's like, wow, what's happening around? You know, what's happening around? So this is getting to be a very common problem. Okay, or something that we call a premature aging issue. Now, all these terms that you see down there from heart attack, cholesterol, and so on, right? You realize there are something that we call chronic disease. And chronic disease, what does it mean? It means that it's not a disease that immediately debilitates you or, you know, uh, you know, uh, in, in, you know, uh, affects you, but you know, it's like, you know, it's there, right? You know, for example, things like diabetes, you know, uh, you know, it's there, you know, you still live life on, but you know, it, it's, it seems to be getting worse and worse. So all these are something of what we call chronic diseases. Okay. Now what's interesting would be this, right? Below this whole thing called a chronic disease, right? Surely there must be something that is leading to all this, right? Now, the thing is, in a lot of times, right, in the, in the Western concept of, uh, of uh, health, right, uh, you always think that, oh, diabetes is caused by, you know, certain conditions that lead to diabetes. Uh, obesity, certain conditions that lead to obesity. But have you thought about it? Could there be a certain underlying cause? That means something in the body that's not going right. That's actually leading to all these diseases happening. For example, you know, inflammatory. You know, a lot of time, you know, our body is under inflammatory attack, you know, and then over time, you start developing into different health issues. And then finally, you see it as a certain disease that actually manifests. Uh, things like, uh, you know, emotional imbalance, you know, a lot of these things. So there are certain underlying causes that actually leads to, you know, all these diseases. So let's, let's watch a little interesting uh, uh, film next. Wasn't that video great? You know, I, I always enjoyed watching that video. And what was that video all about? That video is really all about something called our cells. Okay. Now, uh, let, let me become a little biology teacher now. Now, yes, okay, if all of us were to go down into our body, you know, die down and look at the most fundamental building block of ourselves, this is what we are made of, something called the cell. Okay. So biology lesson, you know. 
Now, what is important inside the cell is something called the nucleus. Okay, the nucleus, think about it, you know, holds the roadmap of our cells. Now, most of you know that our cells replicate themselves, right? I mean, you know, they, they, they live up to a certain age and then they, they break out and then they make new cells again. So how do these cells uh, get the plan to make the new cells to make sure that it looks exactly like that? The blueprint lies in what we call the nucleus. So the nucleus is very important, right? The nucleus holds, like you can think about it, the roadmap for your cell to remember how to make another exactly the same cell all over again. Okay? Now, there was the other important thing would be this, that thing that looked a little like a peanut shape. We call it a mitochondria. Okay, think about it. The mitochondria is like the little power generator inside your cell. Okay, the mitochondria is what gives the cells energy. It takes in nutrients, it actually generates energy for the cell. So when the mitochondria is affected, it affects basically the powerhouse of the cells. And then the other very important thing a lot of people don't realize it is the cell membranes themselves. You know, so every cell, think about it, is like the wall of your home. Right? You have a wall that protects your home from burglars coming in. You know, similarly, the cell membranes do that same thing. The cell membrane is very smart. Okay, it prevents uh, your burglars or not the so good things to come into the cell. But at the same time, it's smart enough to let in the good things into the cell. And that's what your cell membrane actually does. Okay, so for, in a big picture, this is basically what your cell is made up of. Okay, now what's interesting is this, like if you just look at our whole human body, okay, our whole human body is made out of roughly, okay, about 100 trillion cells. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I mean, imagine 100 trillion dollars. 100 trillion cells goes up to make our body okay of course different cells have different purpose and uh, different systems so if you think about it if something ever happened to us right does it make sense that there's only one disease it's really of the cells not functioning properly so take for example you know the cells that goes to make up your heart system so if the cells over there are not healthy you know of course you know it will lead to uh, issues that's related to health uh, to the heart Okay, so again, depending on which cells in which part of the body is not functioning properly, ah, that's where you know, we start to have issues related to that part of the body system. Now let's, let's dive into this. Why do cells actually get sick? So there's two things. Uh, one is what we call toxicity. Toxicity, if you know the word toxic means poison, is somehow your cells get poisoned. Okay, now the other thing that affects cells, cells getting sick is called deficiency. Deficiency is basically lack of nutrients. If your cells is not able to get very good nutrients, okay, then of course they also get sick. It's just like people, right? If, we, if, if the food that we eat, you can eat the best food, but somehow if this food is not nourishing us, you know, we, we can also get sick. So similarly, so cells get sick by two things. Either they get poisoned or they actually find themselves lack of nutrients. Now, so let's look at what is considered poison to the cell. So poison to the cell is this thing called a free radical. Okay, now I like to use uh, this analogy, okay, because in Chinese, right, a lot of people like to call free radical xiao san. What do you mean by xiao san? For those of you who are familiar with this word, right, xiao san is like your mistress. So think about it, your cell is like a husband and wife living in harmony, okay, very closely knitted relationship together. And all these free radicals, right, they are unstable. Their whole purpose is to go there to stabilize the, the, the cells. So of course, that's like your cell sunlight, like they're always trying to catch your, grab your husband away from you and break up the marriage. So that's what all these free radicals are trying to do, right? So these free radicals can come from many sources, which I'll explain later. But the whole idea is when free radicals get into your body, you know, they tend to attack the cells, okay? Trying to destabilize the cells itself, okay? Yeah, yeah. So what happened is, uh, okay, let's look at sources of free radicals. What can, uh, what can give rise to uh, free radicals? Yes, work stress and life stress. You know, especially during the uh, COVID period, you know, many people, even though they may be working from home or they're working under a lot of control condition, under a lot of stress, so with all these stresses, right? These stresses actually give rise to what we call free radicals and they attack ourselves. So many of us, you know, find that our immune system during this period, you know, is a lot weaker. So this is, this is one of the causes. Now other causes is really pollution, right? 
uh, you know, the, the chemicals, you know, you read about, you know, some, some, some countries, you know, the, the, the water is so polluted, uh, the air is so polluted, you know, in fact, in a lot of these countries, you know, uh, for if the air is polluted, you get a lot of respiratory issues. And of course, we are faced with things like the ozone layer thinning and then diet unhealthy living style, you know, even though we are in a modern lifestyle, you know, many of us are not living very healthily, right? We eat a lot of processed food, you know, we drink, we smoke, yeah, I know, I mean, not, not good news for some of the smokers, you know, yeah, you know, our, we, we sleep very late, and then, of course, there's these things like radiation. You know, yeah, like Fukushima is a very real threat. You know, even till today, you know, the radioactive water from the wastewater from the radiator is still being discharged out to the sea, right? And affecting the, the, the seafood. Although many people don't talk about it, but it's a very real thing that's happening. And of course, for many people who don't realize, you know, medication, right? Many of us go to doctors, you know, we, we get power with tons and tons of medication, but medication actually is also a source of free radicals that attack the cells. Now, this is another thing, right? We, we love our 3Gs, 4Gs, 5Gs, right? We, we term that, you know, our film is not streaming fast enough. We cannot watch videos fast enough. But you know that all this radiation is also very detrimental, especially to the blood vessels, right? The tests with uh, mice have shown that uh, you know, the if you actually expose them to like Wi-Fi over a long term, it actually thins out your blood vessels. And sometimes you wonder whether, you know, that's the cause for a lot of people getting stroke because, you know, excessive use of handphone and Wi-Fi, uh, you know, all this radiation is actually harming the body. Now, what does the free radicals actually do? Now, the most um, damaging thing for them is when the free radicals, you know, finally manage to get through the cell membranes, okay? So, for example, if they manage to get through the cell membrane, first, it already affects the walls of your cells, right? So, when your walls of the cells is affected, your cell membranes now may be able to uh, take in those things that it's supposed to prevent. So, the, the wall itself, think about it, has holes. And then what about if the free radicals get into the cell itself? Oh, it destroys, you know, helps to damage that little... Uh, peanut thing called the mitochondria. So sometimes people, when, you, when your mitochondria gets damaged, you always feel perpetually tired because that's your powerhouse. So when your powerhouse is damaged, you know, no matter how much rest you get, wow, you still wake up feeling very tired. You know, that's when people say that you run into what we call chronic fatigue. And you know, more damaging than if the free radicals get and damage your nucleus, damage the DNA. So think about it, your, your blueprint to make the house gets damaged. So the next time when your cell wants to build a new cell again and they look at the blueprint, the blueprint is a little bit faulty. Hey, guess what? The new house that they built is less than perfect. You know, and if this happens over and over again, ah, okay, over the longer term, this is what happens, right? Good genes may get turned off. You know, when you say get turned off, what does it mean? Things like your metabolism becomes slower. You know, I mean, we all like to say that, oh, you know, my metabolic is slower because I'm aging, you know, type of thing. And we kind of, you know, take for granted that, you know, this will happen because we age. Ah, but the thing is, you know, it also means that your good genes are getting turned off and maybe your digestion gets slowed down. You know, even though you eat very little, you get fat very fast. Okay, things so this is when the good genes are not working properly, right? Now, bad genes get turned off. What does that mean? Yeah, all of us has cancer cells. But why does cancer cells in certain cases end up manifesting into cancer? But for most of us, you know, we seem to be keeping it in control. So those are where, you know, we, our bad genes don't get turned on because our body is healthy. So these are what we call, you know, uh, when your DNA gets damaged, this can happen to your body, okay? Now, the other thing is when all these free radicals keep on attacking our body, right? It leads to this thing called inflammation. Now, inflammation under normal circumstances is a good thing, right? When we get a cut, all the white cells rush there, you know, uh, you know attack the, the, the invaders that comes in, you know, then you find that the area gets slightly inflamed, you might get a slight fever. Now, that is a good thing, right? When the job is over, you know, the, the, the bad guy is beaten off, you know, your body returns to normal, your inflammation is gone. So that is not a bad thing. So inflammation in a controlled manner is not a bad thing. But what happens is when, all these free radicals keep on attacking all the cells throughout the body. So every time your cell is constantly repairing and repairing and repairing cell. So this is when it leads to a, a phenomenon called chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation just basically means that your cells are under uh, attack all the time. It's constantly repairing. 
And scientists have found that, you know, many chronic diseases, you know, the root cause starts with really chronic inflammation in the body. So you look at things like obesity, you know, even with cancer, you know, cardiovascular disease, you know, even affects the brains and the eyes, right? It actually starts with chronic inflammation. And besides chronic inflammation, right? Now, when all these free radicals attack our body, it also leads to this thing that it actually stresses our cells. And there's a term called radic oxidative stress. Okay, think about it as rusting. Like, okay, these, these free radicals actually uh, attacking the cells and putting them under stress. And oxidative stress can also lead to many various types of disease. In fact, at last count, scientists has kind of uh, attributed about 90 of these diseases are actually due to what we call oxidative stress. So welcome to what we call cell therapy, what the cell therapy actually means. Now, cell therapy is not something new, okay? If you think that, wow, you know, it's only something that the last 10 years that came out. In fact, the person who pioneered uh, cell therapy is this gentleman called Dr. Paul Nihans, okay? Uh, in fact, if you go to Switzerland right now, you can actually find uh, one of the famous anti-aging clinic there that's actually named after him because it was actually started by him and carried all the way till now. And Paul Nihans has a very interesting uh, philosophy. Is this really what I'm striving after is not to give more years to life, which means that I'm not trying to prolong your age, okay? More important, I am trying to give life to your years. What does that mean? It means that I want you to live your life, whatever life that you have, with the quality that you should be uh, living it with. And that primarily means good health. And if you think that, you know, back in the days, you know, this is who Dr. Paul Nihan has actually treated some very famous name there, right? You know, from Charlie Chaplin to uh, uh, Charles de Gaulle to even the Pope themselves, right? They have actually gone to Dr. Paul Nihan for their cell therapy. Now, what does it actually mean when people say cell therapy? Okay, basically means it's some form of cell therapy that's able to first Okay, intercept and prevent any damage, okay? And that means, you know, it's able to prevent all these free radicals from, uh, you know, over attacking your cells, basically uh, put a stop to it. Now, at the same time, after that, it must be able to help the cells repair and maintain itself, right? Because it's important to be able to maintain good health for the cell. And in maintaining a good health, now the cells are able to re-trigger back all their, their good genes and so forth. They are able to rebuild and rejuvenate itself. So your cells may age, but your cells do not age as fast as what it would do under normal circumstances if you don't take care of it. So that is in fundamental theory of what really cell therapy is all about. Now, these are some of the phase. Now, these are what really the secret of really the what the rich and famous do, right? Including some of the famous people there like uh, Andy Lau, you know, uh, even Aaron Kwok, you know, many people know it. What do these people do? Well, they have the money, okay? So what do they do? They check themselves into clinics that are in uh, Switzerland, uh, for example, and uh, some of the European countries, and they undergo what we call cell therapy. Or I'll explain a little bit later, what kind of cell therapy do they undergo, okay? So there is a couple of types of cell therapy right now that's prevalent in this world, okay? Now, you always hear people talk a lot about stem cells. Okay, what is stem cells? Stem cells, you think about it, is like a, a virgin cell. Okay, this cell doesn't have, uh, it's not a specialized yet. So if this cell, when it goes into a certain area, is able to take on the shape uh, of the cells in that area and hence repair it. So when you, when one of the very specialized treatment that people do is what we call stem cell implantation. What they do is, you know, uh, the doctors either extract the stem cell from uh, the fats or even sometimes from uh, uh, certain uh, placentas. What they then do uh, from the bone marrow, then they actually inject this into the injured area. For example, if the joints are injured, they will actually inject all these uh, live stem cells into the joints. And then, you know, these live stem cells will then repair the area around the joints and then that's how you get better. Now, these are very specialized treatment, okay? It can, it can range from anywhere from a small area uh, treatment or maybe US $5,000 to a more serious uh, 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 treatment that ranges to $25,000, $30,000. So depending on what is being repaired. And this has to be administered in very specialized clinic. Not everywhere you can do it. Now, 
the other thing will be what all the rich people fly to Switzerland to do. Okay, it's called cell therapy by injectable. So what does that mean? So for these injectables, uh, what they do is scientists will either use the, their own fats or they actually use sometimes a sheep placenta or, or certain animal, uh, certain human fetus placenta. They extract the placentas, you know, and then you know, process it to clean it up. Then what they do then, they actually inject it into the human body. Okay, so that's why it has been administered under uh, circumstances by hospitals and under supervision by doctors and nurses because it's really a hospital treatment. And you will check into the whole clinic for maybe uh, three to four weeks while you recuperate. And by, by injecting that whole flow of uh, new stem cells into the whole body, right? It actually replaces some of the old cells, you know, it makes them very vigorous again. It makes them very energetic again. That's why all the film stars love, you know, if they could afford it, they will go to all these treatments. And all these treatments doesn't come cheap, right? They, they range anywhere from, depending on clinic, you know, a round of treatment might range from anywhere from US 50 to say about 100,000, okay? There are clinics which charge up to even 150, 200,000, you know, for very exclusive treatment. And generally about the last 10 years or so, right? There is a type of cell therapy that is actually uh, administered through what you call oral injection. You actually consume it, okay? Uh, for example, Celagen, you know, this is a bio-DNA marine cell therapy. Now, I know some of you may have heard of uh, cell therapies, uh, this type of cell therapy that's extracted from uh, animal placenta and so forth, okay? For here, uh, for many reasons, you know, I would not like to put it into this category. You know, you all can ask me later uh, why is that so, right? And what they found that, you know, with this type of therapy, you also get the anti-aging effect, you know, pretty quickly, you know, uh, and that's why a lot of people, you know, over the last 10, 12 years has started enjoying the, uh, the benefits of this type of cell therapy. So let me just share with you a secret by Dr. Juan Ramos on his secret of anti-aging. So what is Celergen and what does it contain? Oh, great subject. Celergen is a oral cell therapy from marine origin. It's the first oral cell therapy that comes from marine species, specifically from salmon and herring. The Swiss have had for many years sheep placenta injections that have fantastic effects on vitality, on rejuvenation, on energy, on mood, and they were never allowed in the United States. But now, they figured out a way to create the same effect, extracting DNA from marine species and putting them in an oral form, and they created Celergen. Celergen is the first therapy, oral therapy, comes from cells of marine species that has a phenomenal effect on energy, vitality, mood, and regeneration. My business card, what I do is wellness and regenerative medicine. I regenerate tissues, and this is the first, the best tool I have for that. The effect it has on my patients is phenomenal. They're just loving it, they're loving it. I wanna feel great too, yeah. Especially the effects of mood, it's great. It's one of the first things they feel. Wow, I feel great. And then is the feeling of well-being, is the vitality, is the energy. Then you have, as time goes by, you feel greater muscle strength, stamina, exercise uh, resistance. And basically it's one of the best tools I have for improving well-being. Why should people use Celergen? Celergen contains DNA, DNA of marine origin, and it's extracted using a cold technique that preserves the intact form of DNA. If you heat protein, it loses a lot of its structure and therefore its power. And that's how all protein is extracted using heat. This is the first time the protein is extracted using a cold method that preserves the full structure and intensity and power and efficacy of the protein. And being very small protein from these very small cells and these very small animals, it penetrates the brain very quickly. So one of the first things you're gonna feel is improvement in mood. 
and then it's improvement in energy. It also has protein that helps regenerate cartilage and skin. 90% of it is DNA. The other 10% is these other peptides that help with skin, cartilage, uh, and the like. Everybody wants to feel great. If you want to feel great and take your life and your enjoyment and your youth and, and your vitality to the next level, you should take Celergen. Everyone should take Celergen because anytime that you are regenerating your tissues, you're sort of counteracting the effects of aging. So aging process slows down and everything improves and you fend off disease. So anything that helps you live free of illness, free of pain, that's what you want. Celergen provides that. What benefits does Celergen have? Celergen has a lot of benefits. We believe at the Wellness Institute of the Americas that when we provide you with the proper nutrients, nutraceuticals, natural supplements, hormones, proper food, proper exercise, proper sleep hygiene, that you are going to be at the top of your game. And the most important tool I have right now, Celergen, to accomplish that. How long does it take to see results from Celergen? You can see results very quickly. Depends on how bad you feel. You feel bad, you can see results in two or three days. If you feel great, it may take longer. What is cell therapy? Cell therapy is a therapy that is based on things extracted from cells. Like blood transfusion is cell therapy. Grafts are cell therapy. This is something extracted from live cells. That's why we call it cell therapy. Thank you so much for talking to us, Dr. Ramos. It was really a pleasure. <laughs>
when you see a sign like that, you know that, okay, the things inside are all natural. It doesn't have any hormones. It doesn't have any things like steroids. It doesn't have any things sort of like medication, right? So that's why a lot of professional athletes actually take uh, Salogen to help them recover from their injuries. In fact, I know of a very famous sports doctor, Dr. Ben in Philippines, who actually used this to help his professional athletes recover from their injuries. So especially if you are taking... Uh, supplement, you know, and then you have chronic conditions like, for example, thyroid or, or cancer, then you want to be sure that whatever you take doesn't have any hormones. And I always tell people, one of the best tests is, you know, look at the BSCG cert, okay? Now, BSCG cert, how stringent it is, every lot that is being manufactured has to be sent in all the way to US for testing to validate that it meets the standards before you're allowed to continue to put that cert. So it's actually a certification lot by lot, okay? Not just a one-time thing. Uh, that, that enables it, okay? Now, remember we're saying that all the radicals are, you know, very harmful to the cells. And of course, you know, the, 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 the components inside cellulose, one of the biggest effects is these are all super antioxidant. We mean they go into a body, they neutralize a lot of these radicals. And this is important when you have a source of very potent uh, super antioxidant at a cellular level, which means these type of things work at the cell level, okay? Not just your general antioxidant that you are probably very used to seeing in the in the in the pharmacy and so forth so i'm talking about things that actually working at a very cellular level to basically neutralize all these radicals that's in your body now this is really the key ingredient that is inside uh salogen that does a lot of the wonders okay the the what we call the the extract the fish dna extract okay now what does it do uh, besides improving your energy which a lot of people that is the first thing that they feel because it's super anti-inflammatory, a lot of people find that it helps them with joint pain. So a lot of people with arthritis and stuff like that, they find that when they started taking it, it helps them to not only recover, but it also lessens the pain. Now, more important, it actually helps the body to recover its immune, uh, immune cells. So this, this is why, you know, one of the key ingredients to strengthening up your immune system could be to actually uh, taking this bio-DNA cellular marine complex. Okay, now, this is one of my friends, okay? She's, uh, she's, uh, um, she's uh, Dr. Chong, okay? She actually runs, a, runs a, a, a GP, okay? And this is one of her best photos that she thought she was taken because she was on holiday, she was all relaxed. She was with his uh, two, uh, two daughters. But, you know, uh, same thing, Nelly reached an age where she was reaching, uh, you know, uh, menopause, so she was getting a lot of insomnia issues. She cannot sleep and she was already tired because, you know, the clinic was keeping her very busy. And this is her after she started taking, you know, for the first six months, it was big time repair for her, okay? She gradually re regained back her sleep. She regained back her energy and she's now able to kind of, you know, have the energy to go exercise and so forth. And yeah, I know that was actually me actually, uh, you know, leading them on the track. And yeah, this is one of the key things with uh, Salogen, especially for when you hit the uh, middle ages. You know, not just your physical look, the physical look is external, but if you look at the vitality that, you know, she regained over that, you know, she's very, uh, you know, one of those uh, few doctors who end up being a really a big believer and now she actually uses it a lot for her, you know, to help her patients too, okay? This is Han Yong. Han Yong actually worked for a hospital in a HR department, okay? Now, when Han Yong first was introduced to Salogen, Han Yong came because she has a hip pain. And she, you know, after listening to uh, his friend, uh, Mary, recommending that, you know, Salogen help with inflammation and pain, she agreed to start taking it. But lo and behold, after three months later, when she came back to the office, you know, and when I spoke to him, he was really happy. And he said, what happened? Then she was telling us that, wow, you know, be, besides my, my hip pain being, uh, you know, getting better, you know, I, I didn't realize that Salogen was helping me to repair many issues. Remember what I say that many people tend to have three or more chronic health issues. So this was a typical case, like, you know, Han Yong has, you name it, like, you know, from, from gallstones to all sorts of stones. So when he started taking Salogen, he realized that when the body was repairing itself, it actually helped him to repair many other issues that he had. You know, so he's, he's continuing on it, you know, right now and then, you know, slowly you can see that his health, you know, progressively get better as Salogen goes around and repairs his entire body, okay? Now, this, I think some of you would realize that, you know, especially diabetes, uh, you know, this was uh, Mr. Tan, Mr. Tan from Indonesia, okay? Now, Mr. Tan was a businessman and when he got diabetes, you know, he, he, his foot got, got so bad to a point when the doctor wanted to amputate his leg. 
But you know, he said, look, you know, if you're gonna amputate my leg, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather die than do that because I can't think around going back handicapped. You know, I mean, fortunately for him, he was introduced to Salogen by a friend and he started taking it. And then as you can see over time, that's what Salogen basically helps him does, okay? Helps him, you know, to repair the system, helps his wounds to recover, help his wound to heal. And that picture on the right was taken when he came to the office because he was so grateful, you know, that was about two years later after he started on it. And he came by the office just to say thank to us because uh, of that, you know, and that was when the photo was actually taken, okay? And this is a sister of one of my friends who actually got a fracture. And at his age, you know, especially, you know, uh, especially older folks, right? When they get a fracture, you'll find that, you know, it's very hard for them to recover. So, you know, again, the sister was already on cytogen. So because he has a fracture, he, she started on uh, two capsules a day. And what you actually realize that, wow, you know, the, the, the fracture healed very fast. And you can realize that, you know, within less than two months, she was actually back to kind of doing her stuff. And then, you know, the, the, the fractures were healing well. And this is one of the, one of the, uh, one of the thing that, you know, the, the uh, bio DNA marine complex could do. Now, of course, the other thing that's inside it, which makes it very good for the heart is resveratrol. Now, I know that many people say that, hey, now I also take this, you know, because they do sell resveratrol uh, as a supplement just by itself. But when you actually blend this properly in a, in a very synergistic way together with the bio DNA marine complex, you know, it can lead to very interesting effect. And the other thing that's important to remember is this thing called CoQ10, coenzyme Q10. Now, coenzyme Q10, again, when it's synergistically blended, you know, this is energy for the cells, you know, it leads to effects like this. This meet my friend Don. Okay, this probably happened to him about, uh, I would say, six or seven years ago. Okay. Uh, Don was actually a president of a very big Japanese uh, MNC, okay, and you know Don is very well uh, connected. And what happened is Don has a weak, uh, uh, what they call a weak heart valve, means the blood was was rushing, uh, was back flowing into his uh, his heart, and his heart was pumping harder and harder and harder. And because of that, the heart actually got enlarged. And what happened was the doctor was telling him that you know uh, we've checked on you and we realized that. Uh, if your condition is going to worsen, you know, we, I think we have to put you under the table and do surgery on you. Now, Don was worried because Don has a friend with similar issues who went for the operating table but didn't come up. Okay. So he then he recalled that, you know, uh, a friend, uh, Alvin, actually sent him a, a little video that he watched before uh, that Salogen could be good for the health, uh, for the heart. So, well, guess what? You know, so Don contacted Alvin and got himself. A few boxes of salogen and started on it. You know what happened was within a month or one one and a half month when he went back to test by the doctor. Doctor says that mm, your condition seems to have stabilized, so I think we can kind of hold off your uh, surgery for a while more. So he hold off, hold off, hold off, and until three years later, he's still being held off. And over that time, right, his heart got better and better, and then you know over time, his oversized heart also started returning back to normal. So if you ever do meet Don, I tell you, you know, even though, you know, he's, he's now retired, he's still a consultant for the, for the company, you know, he never fails to stop talking about, you know, uh, salad to anybody that he actually meets, you know. So yeah, that's one of my uh, good friend Don. Now, the other thing that's very interesting is also the hydro-M hydro peptide, especially if you have uh, uh, joints that's worn out, okay? Things like arthritis and things that people with worn out joints, this marine cartilage, uh, extract is very useful for rebuilding your cartilages. And hydro -M peptides, what does that help do? You know, that's easily digested into the body, but what more important, it actually reduces the glycemic index of the food that we eat. And what that helps is, you know, that means what a lot of the food that we eat doesn't get converted into sugar and hence fat. So it helps people with weight control. It also controls the, uh, the, the insulin in the body. Okay. And this is another of my friend, that's uh, Nasir. Uh, Nasir, because on the recommendation of the sister, started on uh, Salogen. And of course, what he started realizing was is things like pain on the joints, pains on the knees. And over time, you know, he also realized that, you know, it helps to repair him from the, uh, and his health was getting better and better. So, you know, during our last anniversary, he actually came on the stage to share his story with uh, many of us, you know, very touching story by Nasir. And what's also inside salogen is something called lutein. You know, and again, I know that many of you all sometimes take lutein as a, uh, as a supplement for the eyes itself. 
Now again, when Lutri is properly synergistically blended, it becomes very useful for the eyes. This is the mother of one of my good friend, Tengi, and actually she has a cataract and the pressure was building up on her eyes and she had to use a lot of eye drops. And one of the effects that she actually felt uh, when she first started on Celagen was that, you know, it gradually reduces the pressure on the eye. She, you know, she reduces the drops that she had to do on the eyes. And you know, over time, it actually helps the eyes to repair. So that's what lutein can actually do to you. And this is my friend, Nancy, okay? When Nancy, now Nancy was a supplement queen, okay? Nancy used to be on a whole cocktail of supplements. And what happened with Nancy was, uh, you know, she was she was getting very tired of it uh, with the supplements. And then she happened to meet a friend called Wendy and Wendy recommended uh, Salogen to uh, her. And she thought that, well, if this one thing could represent uh, uh, all the supplements that I'm thinking, isn't that a great thing? So she actually started. You can actually notice that within two weeks, what happened was that, you know, she has a lot of detoxification happened to her. Her mood improved. And this was about two years ago. This was taken when I was uh, with her. We, were, we went on a Thailand trip. Uh, that was her. You can actually notice the big difference in, uh, in Nancy right now. You know, she's definitely happier and her mood and everything has definitely elevated. Okay. This is actually a mother of a friend called Chun Gyo. Okay. This is Chun Gyo. Chun Gyo, when she first took Salogen, felt that it was very good for her, decided to give it for her mom. And her mom at 88 years old back then, you know, was actually showing all the signs of premature aging. And you can realize that after two months, her looks started getting better. You know, you can actually start to see the vitality return to her. And more important is this, at 90 years old, you know, this was, I met her about three years ago at our anniversary, right? At 90 years old back then, I think she looked definitely much better than what she was uh, two years ago before she started Salogen. Same pair of spectacles, but look at the vitality on the face. It's just totally different, okay? And uh, this was David. I met him and he was in the office and he was sharing the story with me. You know, used to play squash football like many of us who are hit the middle age. You know, we used to be very active in sports, screws up our joints, and then, you know, we, we can't play anymore and then we start getting fat. So same thing, you know, when she started, you know, on the recommendation of a friend, uh, she felt that the joints was uh, improved, the pain slowly gone, she slowly get back to being active and exercise. And of course, you know, she's very grateful because now he's back to playing, you know, uh, jogging, you know, I find that, you know, yeah, he keeps him with a lot of vitality. Now, this is another very interesting question I get all the time. Is cell therapy suitable for cancer? Okay. Now, what I want you to think in mind is cell therapy is not a drug. Okay, so it is not a cure for cancer. So you kind of expect to think that, oh, if I take this, it will cure my cancer. No, okay, then I'm not got, I've not got very good news. It is, um, it is not a drug, so it's not able to help. But what happened is uh, more important that the right type of cell therapy, okay, uh, especially if it has things like BSCG certified, which means it doesn't have hormones, then it can be very complementary, okay, to cancer treatment, okay? Why do I say it's very complementary? So what happened is, back when Stelogen was first launched, right? You know, we all had that same thought. Thought that, well, if this thing is so good for cells and it will give to cancer patients, doesn't it mean all the cancer cells will get all the nutrients and then the cancer cells will proliferate? You know, so a lot of people have that same type of thought. But on the contrary, what we noticed was that people were getting better, people were feeling better, after taking it in, uh, in conjunction together with their treatment. And why is that so? So about uh, four, three or four years later from that, we decided to send Stelogen to an uh, independent lab to test it against two, two particular things. One was the uh, uh, liver cancer cells. The other was pancreatic cancer cells. We want to see that in the lab environment, what the Stelogen actually do you know, when it comes free to face in cancer cell, this was really one of the research paper. It is available in the internet. Feel free to go uh, Google it up, okay? But I'm just going to summarize the effect of what it does, okay? So these are really some of the effects it does. I'm going to summarize it very quickly later. These are some of the paper, some of the effect that is due. And in summary, it does this, okay? Uh, when cellular comes into contact with cancer cell, it realizes that it actually slows down 
the growth of the cancer cell. Now, which is good news because especially if you are doing chemotherapy treatment or radiotherapy treatment, right? It is a battle between trying to get rid of all the cancer cells. So when you are, have something that's able to slow down the growth of your cancer cell, it gives your chemotherapy a better chance to get rid of all the cancer cells and so give you a better fighting chance. Now, more important thing, we actually realize that it restores this process called apoptosis in your cells. Now, for many of us, why, even though we have cancer cells, but it doesn't manifest into cancer because our body is very smart. When our body detects that the cells goes abnormal, it commits suicide. And it's a, it's a natural process that's called apoptosis, right? And uh, because this apoptosis happens in all of us, if you're healthy, our cancer cells doesn't manifest. Now, for some reason, if this process, the cell forgot how to do this process of apoptosis, right? That is really what cancer is all about. The cells that has grown and grow and grow forget to die, right? It just... And in over time, it just crowds out all the normal cells, and over time, it takes out all the all the uh, energy and all the uh, you know all the nutrients from you, and then you know it, it basically kills you. So by restoring the ability of the cells to remember how to die, right? That's good news. So especially people who are already in remission, right? Now the the chemo has already uh, killed uh, about of the the cells, and then your chemo is going around to to get rid of it. Then sadism becomes very complementary. First, it helps you to restore back your immune system, right? So you don't fall sick easily. So even though you are undergoing treatment, you find that you still have the energy to go on with life and it gives you better quality of life so that you can rest and heal. And of course, you know, you, it, when it slows down the, the, the growth of the aggressive cells, it gives chemo a better chance of going around and getting rid of uh, all the things. And of course, the other thing is it, it also suppresses the activity of something called a proto-oncogene, okay? And this is important. Why? Because the oncogene cells has been related to many different types of cancer. So by being able to suppress the activities of these type of uh, uh, cells, you know, it's also able to, you know, uh, help prevent, you know, uh, some of these uh, cancer from manifesting in the body. Of course, the other research was done on pancreatic cancer cells. Again, a whole uh, bunch of papers. And I'm going to share with you a friend. This is a friend of me, mine called Amy. Now, Amy uh, got breast cancer of the most severe kind. Okay, So she did her mastectomy and she had to go through 14 rounds of radio and chemotherapy. Okay, very severe. She is a principal. She used to be a principal of an international school in Sarawak, but she actually flew into Singapore for her treatment. Okay, This picture was taken after her 14 round of treatment, the end of her treatment, and she was showing everybody how her fingers were still pink color. Now, what is the implication of that? Now, for some of you who may know of loved ones who are undergoing chemo treatment, you will realize that chemo treatment literally burns you up from the inside. So by the time you hit the 10 round or 11 round of treatment, a lot of times you'll find that your body, your skin, everything grows very dark because it's literally burning you up from the inside. And for many of these, right, the fingernails will be black in color. So the, the oncologist was very surprised to find that, you know, wow, you know, Amy, I sure wish that all my patients were like you. Then she was asking why. He said, look, besides you losing all your hair, right, you look at your fingernails, your fingernails are all still pink in color. And, you know, besides from you being like, you know, maybe very tired for the first day, right? The next day you bounce back and you are like, you know, living life as usual. And that is very important. So after remission, you know, what uh, Amy did was she basically continued taking Celagen. And you can actually see over the years, you know, in fact, actually Amy just looks better and better. I say like she never aged at all. And that's really why I say that Celagen can help to slow down your aging. Uh, this is another friend called Ida. Ida was the same case. Ida also has, uh, has a, a breast cancer. She was also in uh, Singapore for treatment when a friend told her about uh, maybe Selegion could help her with her treatment. And, you know, when she walked through the office that day, you know, she was really all weak. You know, then she listened to um, my friend Joey explain about what Selegion could possibly help with. You know, she was still a bit skeptical back then, uh, you know, but she said, okay, you know, I'll, I'll take two boxes, I'll fly back all the way to Indonesia and try it. You know, in less than a week's time, she actually called her friend. He said, well, Ruby, what is this thing that you actually recommended to me? Then Ruby was so worried. He said, what happened? And she actually said, wow, well, you know, I actually never felt better than before. You know, my, I can feel my energy coming back. 
And, you know, she actually could weather the, the treatment much better. You know, she was restoring and she was back to being a social butterfly. So after her treatment, uh, you know, Ida continued taking Celogen. In fact, you know, I think about three years ago, she actually married a second time to a, to a, to a husband. And, you know, she's putting her husband on Celogen right now. And so that both of them, their health is in the pink of health. Okay. Now, what else can cell therapy, I would say, you know, marine cell therapy do? You know, these are just another thing, especially enhancing of immune system, right? Um, when you are going back to office, I need. I think I need. Okay, okay, something to be. Now, uh, during a test in one of the China labs, okay, you know, uh, because we we wanted to bring cellogen into China, and one of the requirement was that they they needed to test us several hundred boxes to find out what cellogen could do, right? And one of the reports that came out was that, you know, cellogen has the ability to enhance the activity of two things. What we call the macrophage. Second thing is what we call the NK cells. These two are, you know, your white blood cells. That is your immune system. Okay, it fights out all the immunity. And what they found was that, you know, cellogen is able to enhance the ability of these two things, which means it actually strengthens your immune system. And this is the result of what's happening. So, during the last two years, you know, we were really uh, very, very busy because, you know, many, many countries, especially things like in Indonesia, where, you know, the vaccination rate is not high, you know, many people, many are worried. And it is Park Henry. You know, when Park Henry and the wife, you know, who were deemed the high risk age got COVID, the doctor was very surprised to find that, hey, you know, uh, although they tested positive, but, you know, they were not like, you know, uh, you know, running out of oxygen and so forth. In fact, their condition was so good that the doctors actually told them to rest at home. They continued to take their cellogen and they actually recovered uh, very quickly, you know, from their, from their COVID. And this is another friend. Uh, this is a brother of a friend, of a Singapore friend, and this friend is in New York. And he's in New York. He actually incurred COVID. Well, COVID really laid him flat. You know, when the sister heard, he was, she was so worried that she has two boxes sent all the way to US for the brother to take. And this is the story of her brother. Her brother, after taking for one or two weeks, really started feeling the effect of him, you know, strengthening up and recovering. And then this was actually what he wrote in to, to thank us. Like, that. wow, he never felt uh, better. So, you know, the cellular really helped him to boost up his immune system and recover fairly quickly. Big thing in Philippines, Philippines, same problem as Indonesia. The vaccination rate is low. Many of the doctors, friends that I know of there started using Salazar for themselves, their customers. And this is actually one of the, uh, uh, the, the sister of a uh, doctor friend of mine in Philippines, right? Same thing as COVID. And, you know, when the, the, they started taking Salazar, you know, actually helped him to recover very quickly, okay? Now remember, talk about restoring immune system. This is my friend Hui Kun. Hui Kun has lupus. And for many of you who understand what lupus is, lupus is an autoimmune disease, okay? Doctor still doesn't know what causes it. Uh, you're in constant pain because your body is under constant inflammation. So when Celogen was first released that about uh, 14 years ago, you know, Hui Kun back then knew about it, started taking it. And, you know, after two months, she can really feel the difference. You know, right now, if you look at Hui Kun, you know, she's back to being doing her accounting job, you know, she's back to uh, herself, you know, you wouldn't realize that she was a lupus patient. Okay. So here I'll share with you a little story of Anga, okay, Anga and the wife Oli, these two again are also good friends of mine, okay. Hello, I am Anga and this is my wife Oli from our marriage we have two wonderful sons uh, it has been a good life for us then however things turned out the other way when Oli fell ill in 1995 we visited almost every hospital in Jakarta at that time doctors could not explain us the cause of the disease Oli's body would ache extremely. She begins to lose her vision, her hearing. The worst thing is she lost her sense of touch. Uh, I went wanting the best for her. We seek uh, medical help in Singapore and there we know the name of the disease is fibromyalgia. Doctors 
until today do not know the cause of this disease and the cure to it. At that time, we did not give up. We went as far as Shanghai and Guangzhou to seek for medical help. Her life was fading and all she could do was lying in bed for 15 years. All his arms and legs, I remember, would get skinny and feeble. She could hardly pick up a cup, let alone walk. Her future looks grim. Her vision became blurry. Her words became indistinct as she could not pronounce words properly. Her once warm attitude towards me turned cold because she could not feel my hug. I like combing her beautiful hair, but then she could not feel me combing her hair. Every day she could cry, so did my heart. She felt hopeless, so was I. Yes, so, so was I. In 2013, on the business trip, I came here to Avita, but it was close. It's a Hari Raya, and I came back on the next day. Again, it was close. It was National Singapore National Day, but then I made the third, made it the third high on Saturday, and there, then I met uh, Joey, who helped me a lot, welcomed me, explained me about Salergen comprehensively. In doubt, I returned to my hotel to look and search more about this product. To my surprise, I found a doctor whom who suffered the same disease as my wife and has benefited from Salergen. Now, this is the miraculous part that uh, I came back to Avita to purchase two boxes of Celergen for my wife. Within two months of consuming Celergen, all these conditions uh, showed improvement. She regained back her vitality, her energy, and she told me she felt like a new life um, grow within her. One day while at work, Oli called me from upstairs in our house. She told me she walked up the stairs on her own. This is the first time in 15 years she could walk up the stairs on her own. I was amazed that evening we embraced each other. We were grateful, we cried in joy. Okay. Thank you, Seller Jen. Thank you, Avita. Now I was I was I was there when they filmed that video. I tell you, there was a, not a dry eye in the whole uh, whole office that day when we filmed that, that thing. I still remember seeing that, you know. So I always remember Anga being very grateful uh, for that. And now, of course, Anga is helping many people in Indonesia, uh, you know, uh, realize the benefits of, uh, uh, of Salogen, okay? Now, this is another of my friends, but this is all the way from Taiwan. You know, this is when uh, Mao Mao was in uh, Singapore. I was together with her. And what happened, Mao Mao was a physiotherapist, okay? And this is Mao Mao's husband, okay? I'll let Mao Mao share her story.
Yeah, again, Mama is another good friend of mine. You know, I mean, uh, when I was in Taiwan, you know, I had a chance to to you know to meet the husband, and you know, you, and, and right now, you know, with every progress that she make, you know, we really celebrate her victory together with her. Okay, so you know, so we've been using it, uh, this to help quite a lot of people. Uh, this is for those people who kind of know the uh, Michael Jackson disease. Okay, yes, again, it's a form of autoimmune disease. So this was Ming Hao. This was him actually sharing his story with us during the uh, last anniversary. That's a weekly go. Uh, and of course, for some of you who kind of recognize this uh, actress, right? Jing uh, Yingjie, right? Jing uh, Yingjie was, um, you know, the because she reached the age, and a lot of people didn't realize that she actually has, uh, she I think got hit with a bout of depression. But then because she was a very good friend with my CEO back then who recognized her condition and just persuaded her to start taking Celagen. And, you know, and she actually recovered out from me. And because of that, right, during the anniversary, she actually volunteered to perform for free. And, you know, she was very touching because she actually came on stage and shared because she said I was never a supplement person, right? But because of what Celagen has helped me with, right? You know, I, I'm open today to really come out on stage and share with all of you that, you know, what it has done for me. So, yeah, you know, feel free to scan that one. That is actually her video on, uh, on YouTube that is showing where she actually shared during the 10th anniversary. Uh, it has also helped some of my friends whose uh, daughter, the younger children who has, uh, we actually use a combination of oils and salogen and so forth to, uh, to help them to overcome their depression, okay? So more important, why do doctors themselves take salogen? Okay, yes, you know, in fact, if you could read about it in the Rob's Report, uh, Rob's Report is a luxury lifestyle magazine in uh, US. You find that actually in US and Europe, many well-known doctors, especially anti-aging doctors, actually use salogen not just for themselves, but also for many of their patients. In fact, I welcome you all to go Google it up and then, you know, read about it, right? And this is, uh, you know, my friend, this is one of the most famous uh, aesthetic surgeons in Philippines, okay, Dr. Luzero. He's like called the godfather of plastic surgery in the uh, Philippines. And in Philippines, he actually uses a cellogen to help his patients to recover faster from their uh, surgeries uh, because of the effect. And more important, it gives them the vitality after their surgery to remain young, okay? So this is Dr. Luzero, okay? So this type of therapy, roughly how much does it cost? So in comparison to, you know, uh, you know, the stem cell by implantation, you know, in comparison to the treatment, you know, roughly, you know, this is a rough cost, you know, about, you can expect to spend roughly about maybe slightly less than $5,000 a year. And then depending on, you know, uh, whatever promos, you know, you can actually keep yourself in super tip top good health for that type of cost, lah, you know. Uh, yeah, I do encourage you all to find out and see whether, you know, uh, you know, whether this might be suitable for you. So in summary, this is really it. You know, I mean, um, what is inside cellogen, you know, that makes it effective is because of the bio-DNA cellular marine complex and uh, the co-extraction that lets it maintain its efficacy. 
And because it's synergistically blended with all the ingredients that I share with you just now, it can become a very potent type of cell therapy. And more important is food, not for the body, but food for the cells. Okay. So how do people evaluate cellogen? Okay, on average, I tell people, uh, you know, your body go through a three month cycle where all your cells will undergo one round of change. So typically I would say, give yourself a good three months evaluation period. You, okay, you should be able to see something because by then all your cells will have changed once. Uh, this is typically how we would start somebody off, right? You start on uh, two capsules a day to boost your repair. Uh, the best time to take it is early in the morning on an empty stomach because that's when your body can take in its full nutrients. If you go with the TCM clock, that's the best time to take nutrients. Now, drink a lot of water because when your cells undergo repair, it requires a lot of water. Now, if you're also taking uh, other supplements, I typically would recommend a lot of my friends. So each, I say you can stop all your supplements and then you just evaluate Cellogen on its own. And most of the time, you know, the, what chances are, uh, once they get used to Cellogen, they will just take Cellogen and, you know, they literally stop all their other supplements. Lah. So this is another benefit of those of you who actually are taking a lot of supplements and kind of looking for something that is able to do uh, all of it at one go. Okay. So in summary, it's really this. Okay, We only have one disease and that's a disease of your cells not functioning properly. And you know the solution is really you know, to, to use this for your cell repair and cell replacement. And you, know, you will definitely feel younger and you know, uh, stay younger uh, through this method. Okay. So that is, uh, that is really us, you know, join us for the uh, next review. I know we have a question and answer, where did my thing? Okay, uh, I think Charmaine will be putting out in the chat group a link for y'all to, uh, let me